Democrat governor pushes massive billion dollar climate tax by Gary Mayer for USA Politics Today.org. If one Democrat governor gets her way, major employers in her state will be slapped with a carbon tax that is so high it exceeds the billion dollar mark. This week, Governor Kate Brown and her Democrat allies in the Oregon legislature uh, introduced their long anticipated cap and invest bill. The uh, legislation calls for sweeping regulations to cap greenhouse gas emissions and charge a tax penalty on the state's largest contributors of carbon emissions. How large of a tax fee? While it's difficult to determine the exact number before a finalized bill is sent to the governor's desk and enacted, most estimate the penalty will extract around $1 billion per biennium from Oregon's economy, risking the flight of numerous companies and job losses for people in the state, according to the Oregonian. Brown publicly introduced her idea of a large-scale carbon tax at the screening of Al Gore's uh, latest uh, climate alarmist movie, An Inconvenient Sequel, last summer. I think the rest of the world needs to see Americans and Oregonians stand up, uh, standing up, Brown told the New Yorker. We must participate, and we must be part of the solution. So send her the bill, that's what I say. Given the large Democrat majorities in both the Oregon State House and Senate, it's, uh, it is likely that the climate change bill will become law. Because of legislative rules, supporters of the proposal only need a simple majority in order to pass it through the legislature, not requiring a single Republican vote. The bill meant to eliminate a state version of Paris climate agreement that President Donald Trump rejected has garnered controversy for its lack of specificity and raises questions over conflict of interest. The Ben Bulletin, a local Oregon newspaper, eviscerated the proposal in a recent op-ed suggesting it doesn't answer basic questions regarding who exactly gets taxed. We might be considered uh, old-fashioned, but before the legislature passes a climate change bill, it should be clear which businesses will have to pay up and which get a pass, the editorial began. How much will that jack up the price of filling a gas tank? What will it do to the cost of health care or the price of groceries? Those questions are difficult to answer, but it's likely going to raise prices for a lot of things. Despite months of preparation, neither Brown nor Democrat leaders in the state legislature can differentiate between the carbon emitters who will be penalized and those who will be ostensibly, uh, who will ostensibly get a pass. Republican critics have not been any nicer. Uh, Newt Bueller tweeted out here, um, the Bend Bulletin got it right at Oregon uh, versus Brown's attempt to rush through a massive $1.4 billion energy tax isn't just bad policy or poor le leadership. It's just plain wrong. Oregonians will be, will be paying dearly and we deserve better. This $1.4 billion energy tax is more about creating a slush fund for special interests in crony capitalism than it is about sound public policy. Isn't that true? This is a cavalier effort to pass yet another huge tax that Oregonians simply cannot afford. State Rep. Newt Bueller, Republican, uh, Bend, uh, said in a statement to the Western Journal, Bueller is the GOP frontrunner to take on Brown in a re-election effort later this year, a Republican with an independent streak. Bueller is running as the fiscally-minded alternative to the tax-happy governor. We need to recapture a sense of shared purpose in our government here in Oregon and move beyond the pursuit of power, privilege, and position. This bill simply perpetuates the political dysfunction in our state. The gubernatorial candidate continued. Questions have also been raised about the necessity for such a carbon reduction bill, given that 
The Beaver State is already an established leader in the country for eliminating carbon and lowering greenhouse gas emissions. Bueller previously pointed to the fact that Oregon is currently the sixth lowest in the U.S. per capita carbon dioxide emissions. The result of taxes and penalties Oregon residents are already shouldering. There is no apparent need for yet another tax bill. Brown uh, became governor in 2015, succeeding Democrat Governor John Kitzhaber. Uh, following his resignation amid a corruption scandal and won the 2016 special election to occupy the office for the rest of the term. The far-left gov uh, governor has gone on to push for a litany of tax hikes and make Oregon one of the most abortion-friendly states in the country. Isn't that terrific? Isn't that what Democrats stand for? It's sickening, isn't it, folks? People better wise up and vote these criminals out of office because they're going to take this country down. They could care less. The companies are just going to move to another state. They're not going to stay there. So there's going to be a massive loss of jobs, increase in prices of everything. Well, how are the people going to pay that? Are you give give me a break? Uh, let me know. They, they, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.